Hello everyone. There are so many large language models and AI tools available out there, like ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot, and Claude. And I got asked this question a lot, which model I should choose? Well, choosing the right large language model isn't guesswork anymore. It's actually data-driven. So in this video, I will show you how to compare top large language models using what we call a Vellum leaderboard and Hugging Face LLM leaderboard. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students on Udemy and Coursera. And on this channel, I break down AI, LLMs, or large language models, and AI agents in a simple and practical way. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in artificial intelligence and large language model space, there are two categories of models. There are open source models and closed source models. Open source, that means you have access to all the weights and connections, basically, between neurons. And closed source models, these, that means the model itself is locked in. And example of that is ChatGPT from OpenAI. So the first leaderboard that I would like to share with you is what we call it Vellum leaderboard. I'm going to include the link as well in the description below. And here you should be able to see all the famous models, mostly the closed source models, and should be able to see the performance. So for example, when it comes to reasoning abilities of these large language models, you will see that Grok by Elon Musk's company, XAI, you will find that it achieved almost 87.5%, which is mind blowing. The benchmark here is what we call a GPQA or Google Proof Q&A. These are a set of really hard problems that are kind of PhD level when it comes to chemistry and math and so on. And you will find that Grok is actually almost close to perfection. It's almost at 87.5%. Next, you will find Gemini 2.5 Pro. And this is, of course, by Google. You will find here OpenAI 03 model coming in at 83.3%. What you see here is when it comes to math capabilities, you will find the Grok as well. It's kind of beating pretty much everyone here. And this is Grok 3 here. This is Grok 4. And you will see that this is the OpenAI uh, 04 Mini as well doing really well on the math, uh, what we call it AIME 2025 benchmark. So depending on the use case that you want to leverage this model in, so if you wanted, for example, to use the best reasoning model, here, of course, you can go ahead and use Grok 4. If you wanted to leverage math, I would say, to use these models to solve math problems, you can go ahead and leverage Grok 3 or as well close, second kind of second close is OpenAI models. When it comes to agentic coding, and this is the ability of these large language models to solve complex problems when it comes to coding. And if you hover on top of it here, you should be able to see that the ability of LLMs to solve GitHub issues. And you'll find as well that here Grok 4 is beating pretty much everyone. When it comes to best in tool use, here you will find Llama by Meta is another as well model here that is beating kind of or beating everyone or the other models. When it comes to adaptive reasoning, Gemini 2.5 Pro is best. And the last benchmark that I would like to share with you here is what we call it humanity's last exam. And if you hover on top of it, you will see that this is the most challenging benchmarks across multiple domains. Basically, when we get there, that means you have like an AI that is smarter than all humans combined. We are not there yet, but we are getting very close. We're actually at 25.4, and of course, Grok4 is uh, leading the chart right now. And when it comes to speed and affordability, you will find these are the fastest models. So Llama models are actually the fastest across all of them. And when it comes to latency, you will find AWS model. This is actually our first time to see the Nova Micro. That's another large language model by AWS or Amazon Web Services. And when it comes to the cost, you will see the comparison between all these models here. Another important point as well is when it comes to context window. Because I get asked that question a lot, which is, can I upload maybe like 100 documents to these large language models? Well, you are limited by what we call it the context size, which is how much data you can feed to the large language model at once. And what you see here is if you'd like to compare GPT 4.0, and let's say if you scroll down, you can pick any model you want. Let's pick, for example, Gemini 2.5 Pro. 
If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot. And if you'd like to get access to the prompts and the slides that I use in all my YouTube videos, please go ahead and join our AI community, link in the description below. What you see here is that Google Gemini has the largest context window, and we're talking about 1 million tokens. So the idea here is that 1 million context size, that means you can feed in the entire work of Shakespeare in one run to that model, which is mind blowing. So you will see, for example, GPT-4, we're talking about 128,000 context size. Of course, you can see, you can compare the cost as well and latency and speed too. And you can see that here as well on a bar chart. Okay, so if you scroll down, you should be able to see the model comparison here. So if you'd like to, if you're interested in, let's say, software engineering and benchmarking, you can go ahead and use that benchmark here. And you'll find Grok4 is beating everyone at 75%. If you want to use the model in, let's say, solving math problems, you can go ahead, sort here, and you should be able to see OpenAI 03 Mini as 97.9%. .9%. So the second leaderboard that I would like to share with you is coming from Hugging Face. And what we had here is what we call it the archived or old leaderboard. And the idea here is all these large language models are getting better by the week. So what you find here, for example, is that the performance of all these different models back in September 2023, we're talking about, let's say, 40%, maybe here, another model talking about, like, let's say, 20%. What happened is, is that all these models in just one to two years time span, they basically solved every single problem that we had here for all these different benchmarks, which is mind-blowing. I've been in the field of artificial intelligence for the past 10 plus years. And I would never imagine that these AI models will get really smart that quickly. But this is where we're at right now. So what we found is that all these different benchmarks that we have here, they are not that great anymore. And that's why we need harder problems to be able to compare these large language models. So if you scroll down, you should be able to see these are new, basically, benchmarks. One of them is what we call a GPQA or Google Proof Q&A. And you can find a link as well here to the paper. So if you go ahead and click on it, you should be able to see the paper here. You can go ahead and read it. But the idea is that this is kind of PhD level uh, benchmarks. And they are really hard questions and they are Google proof. So you can't just go and Google them. You need to have deep expertise in a specific domain to be able to solve these type of problems. And if you go ahead and open the new leaderboard, this is the leaderboard that we got here. And you will find that here we are actually comparing open source large language models. So you can go ahead and choose, for example, the size of the model. So for example, we're talking about anywhere between 7 billion parameters, and you can choose here up until 140 billion parameters. You can also see here the precision, if you would like to select the model at 4 bits or float 16 and so on. You can also here select whether you need a pre-trained model or a fine-tuned one as well. So you can go ahead and select here the model type. And of course, if you hover on top of it, you should be able to see an explanation here of what they mean by that. All right, so let's assume that we'd like to evaluate our large language models when it comes to solving math problems. Now I can go ahead, select pre-trained here, and I can go ahead and sort with the math here. So that's the benchmark that we care about. And you should be able to see Quen model. And this is an open source large language model, which is really powerful by Alibaba. And it's scoring at 39.12%, which is actually pretty, pretty good because these problems are really hard. And you can, again, you hover on top of it, you should be able to see these are high school competition math problems. So they are not kind of simple math problems. And what you see as well is if you'd like to select the GPQA, you should be able to see as well here, Quen model is one of the top models. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see as well a lot of open source models. This is another one by Microsoft. And if you keep going, you should be able to see Llama as well somewhere in here. So Llama model is the open source model by Meta. Here we go. This is the 70 billion parameters. And with that, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's it. That's all I have for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of AI tutorials coming your way. And don't forget to join our AI community where you can get all the resources. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.